God bless you. It's a season where you have to engage your faith in the place of prayer, ensuring that the fire for prayer at your altar do not burn low. Like Paul spoke to Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 18. He said, you that by knowledge you've known the prophecy that has been given over your life. He said, having that knowledge is an advantageous reason why you must engage them in warfare. So by warfare, we bet prophecy. By warfare, we bring to pass that which has been spoken over our life. I would like you to engage the word of the Lord. Which Every time you step into seasons where things don't seem to be working in your life, please listen to me. You must obtain grace to engage the prophetic. The prophetic is a weapon of power when it is administered within the boundary of scripture that every time you are in seasons that look like the day of adversity you will need the prophetic they are taken for a prey and none say it restore there has to be a voice other than you that can speak restoration there has to be a voice other than you that can speak lifting. Are we together now? When Samaria was in decadence, hunger, we've shared it here. Women were eating their children. Then came this strange prophet of God and he made a declaration by the Spirit, by this time, tomorrow. Moses came and held his staff and told the nation of Israel, God has seen your pain for these years and he has sent me as a deliverer. All you need to do is to believe God and to believe me. I am going to Pharaoh and he stood before Pharaoh. He said, Pharaoh, time up. Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, let my people go. When the plagues began to come, Pharaoh said, no, 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 no. This is too much. Let the men go. Leave the women and the children. Moses said, no way. We are going plus our cattle, everything. I have watched with, with shock even to me at the way the prophetic works in the lives of people who understand it and engage it. I have had the honor and the privilege to speak over people over impossible situations that sometimes even me the man of God who was used to minister to them I can almost say my God will this situation turn around and then ah, I'm not telling you what I studied I am telling you a reality this is by the privilege of God's mercy I know what the prophetic can do when when a genuine prophetic mantle from a man of god's lips a prophetic anointing a spoken word backed up by the integrity of god's word when it lands over your situation you just step back and watch it work wonders in your life i told you here and i've shared this with you the prophetic does not just reveal listen to me the prophetic creates the prophetic can lift a man from your yesterday into your tomorrow. Believe me. And you have come tonight to encounter that dimension of the prophetic. This meeting will not be over until that word comes upon your life. Listen to me. Because to live an overcoming life God himself designed these principles the prophetic engaged with understanding and by a prophet the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet were they preserved it says believe in the Lord your God so shall you be established I, I, I say this with with every sense of respect and, and I don't mean to brag, please forgive me, but there is a level of arrogance that is in the world today that will keep punishing many people and they will keep going through needless pain because of the arrogance of neglecting the prophetic. In as much as I know 
as I would always observe that mistakes have been made here and there in the body of Christ people have you know mismanaged the prophetic but can I tell you it is an error if you find yourself ignoring the prophetic in one night I mean literal 24 hour one night God is able to through the vehicle of the prophetic lift people listen please come let me use one person to show you how the prophetic works anyone come you stand here there are times where the normal way to climb this is by walking climb up this is how to walk normally is that true please go back there are times that there can be challenges right here and you are attempting to climb now please take one step and stay here the destiny is that you climb right here but there are all kinds of things stopping you at that point hold my hands the prophetic are you ready to jump prophetic does not just take you one step it will stand and push you like this are we together now thank you the prophetic does not follow the sequence of the natural course of things no it is a dimension outsourced as a system of advantage yes sir the mysteries of the kingdom that can help men to rise one prophetic word over your business one prophetic word over your ministry you can be fasting and praying by yourself God is not stupid to have given gifts in the body this is where sometimes believers we have to be careful you know we have this mindset oh look don't worry about you you just love God alone and know him for yourself listen to me God himself set in motion these, these offices in the body of Christ. It is an advantage for the saints. Even when Paul encountered Jesus, he still went back to the body for the continuity of his growth. I was so honored and blessed when, you know, His Excellency the Ambassador came and he was just jumping and celebrating Jesus. And in as much as it looked very funny and childlike, I said, this man will never remain at the same level. He has found a key that many people do not have the maturity to find. When the ark was being restored, David was dancing and rejoicing and thanking God. And his own wise wife came and said, no, 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 this is not royalty. You are bringing shame to yourself and, and dishonor. And David said, I am, I am, he told Saul's daughter, he says, I am rejoicing before the Lord who took the kingdom from your father and gave me so that he will not now take it from me and give someone else. The Bible says God had the rubbish she was saying and she died barren. Can I tell you this? I'm not indoctrinating you negatively. You are intelligent people. There is a way the prophetic can be administered that makes people behave like animals. That's not what I'm teaching you here. But I am telling you this. If you have the faith to receive the prophetic, ladies and gentlemen, your life can literally change overnight. It's true. The prophetic has rules the first rule is faith faith in god and faith in the vessel rule number two honor honor to god and honor to the vessel these are the rules of the prophetic it does not just work arbitrarily no no please help them the prophetic has rules faith in god and faith in the vessel he will use please help them I'm, I'm seeing angelic activities in this place now just help them please just help them you know when you begin to teach like this the bible calls the angels that they walk in partnership with the word to confirm the words of his servant so that's what is happening right now i'm seeing several angelic activities just help people because people are already receiving all kinds of impartations I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. I lay me down and I slept. I waked for the Lord sustained me. 
But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. I remember one time a gentleman who was I think he was that something happened and they relieved him from his job and when he came and met me usually I would just pray and tell him trust God for another job and the Holy Spirit spoke to me he said prophesy to him that you are making decrees that he is going back to that job and it was a very good job uh, when I said it I could see the guy saying sir you don't know this is a XYZ oil company I said what is my business who among them can create oil are they not mining it the one who created the oil is now making a decree listen I lie not probably the person is even here or maybe he's listening it was within three days three days and it was a very very strange thing that one of the executive members who is a Christian a member of a, a popular church in this nation had a dream and in that dream a voice spoke to him and said bring back this young boy that this young boy is an asset he got up met with his fellow executives when they called him and he called me i said next time enjoy your testimony but next time do not be unwise not every man of god is a herbalist and not everybody is stupid I will not come before an intelligent congregation globally like this and just make a caricature of your pedigree and your intelligence except that this works believe me it does the prophetic can change literally 180 degrees the tides of someone's life but the challenge is that most people just say amen but they don't believe truly they don't thank you for lifting Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Ah. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. I'm about to pray for you now and declare that this prophetic dimension you must experience it this night there has to be a word that will come because many of you you are going through all kinds of seasons right now and I want you to know that there are weapons in this kingdom that can help us live the overcomers life we are overcomers it is true hi precious saints God bless you Thank you for staying tuned with us. Lemo Lantun is my name, and on this platform at Pauline Stream, we are committed to bringing you the accuracy of God's word via the mouth of his servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. And peradventure, your life has been written off by friends. I want you to know that what people say about your life does not really define who your life is. As they are rightfully speaking, he said, Who shall believe our report? That which God has said about your life is the ultimate. His plans for your life is superseding every goals, every utterance, everything that any man has said. And that is the more reason why your life must always be in alignment to that which God is doing, with that which God is saying for your life, for your family, and for everything. It's a season despite the storms of life. Don't give up on God. Stay tuned and see to it by prayer that the word of the lord comes to pass truly in your life there is no situation god cannot change there is nothing he cannot do for your life seeing the situation of mary how disastrous it was and yet god calls it favor the favor of god is truly coming upon your life the blessings the mightiness the revival you so prayed for is coming upon your life don't give up stay with god and if you're a new viewer on our sporting stream youtube channel I'd like you to hit the subscribe button subscribe to this channel get acquainted and notified by hitting the notification bell by the side and don't forget to also share this video to your loved ones families and friends and that day too would get blessed god bless you